Hi, my name is Tim and today I'm going to briefly demonstrate how the Argo CD Lovely plugin can be used to both add additional manifests to an Argo CD managed Helm chart and to customize the output of the Helm chart to change values that may not be accessible by the provided values YAML. Before I start, as the name suggests, the Argo CD Lovely plugin is a plugin for Argo CD. So if you're not an Argo CD user, this might be a very boring or confusing talk for you and you might want to investigate Argo CD further before watching. However, if you are an existing Argo CD user and you, uh, you're starting to come across the same challenges that we did when we wrote this plugin, hopefully this might add some value for you. You can find more information about the Argo CD Lovely plugin by visiting the GitHub repo shown on the screen, and everything I'm going to do today is available through that repo. So let's briefly look at the problem that we're trying to solve today. Imagine you're consuming a third-party Helm chart, but the value YAML doesn't allow you to add a certain manifest to your deployment. In our example, let's imagine we want to add a secret to our deployment, but the values YAML doesn't cater for this. Using Argo CD natively, the two standard ways of deploying any additional manifest to a Helm chart are to add a templates directory within the Helm chart and add your manifest in there. But in my opinion, that quickly becomes messy if you want to add a large number of manifests. Um, they're all just hidden inside that, that template file. And therefore, from an Argo CD user point of view, it's hard to read. The other option is to create a separate Argo CD application containing those additional manifests. This is tidier in the sense that it looks nicer in your Git repo, but messier in the fact that you're now relying on two individual applications for one resulting application in your, in your cluster. Using the Argo CD Lovely plugin, we can simply place the additional manifests anywhere in the application directory. Personally, I prefer to create a chart directory for my chart and then another directory for the manifests. And you can obviously have subdirectories below that. And that's what I'll demo today. But that particular structure is just for human readability. It's not required. So you can manage it however you want to for your own personal needs. The second problem we want to look at today is quite similar. Imagine consuming a third party Helm chart that almost but not quite produces the manifest that you desire. You might want to patch in some changes over the top of the manifest that the Helm chart produces. The Argo CD documentation explains how you can create your own custom plugin to allow you to customize a Helm chart, but that's quite clunky and you end up with an Argo CD plugin that only does one thing. The Argo CD lovely plugin will customize your Helm chart output out of the box. You simply add a blank customization YAML into the directory containing your chart and then reference any patches as appropriate. If you want to play along at home, we provided a simple Argo CD installation that already bundles the Argo CD Lovely plugin into it. You could run this in Minikube or Kind, etc. Um, just clone our repo and then follow the instructions you see on screen. If you want to do it properly in production, uh, the Argo CD Lovely, Lovely plugin installs into Argo CD just like any other plugin. Uh, we have a documented process in our repo for that. I really wouldn't suggest you use our um, installation that we've got here. It's quite basic. Similarly, Everything I'll demo here is available in our repo for you to use in your own time. So let's have a quick look at the manifest directory and we'll go through it together. We can see we have a secret and a chart directory as I explained earlier. So if we head into secret, secret contains a single YAML file. If we look in there, it's just, it's literally a secret. Now, if we look in our chart directory, you can see that the standard Kubernetes Helm dependency deployment that's used by Argo CD. You can also see this additional customization file and the liveness patch file. So if we quickly just look at those files, customization is very simple. It is just a customization manifest and then calls that liveness patch YAML file and targeting deployments. If we very quickly look at the liveness patch itself. That's taking our deployment and just adding basically liveness and readiness probes. Um, we have tweaked some values that, are, that go uh, beyond the defaults. So uh, in this demo, we're going to look specifically at the failure thresholds, which are five by default, but it would be three. And I guess just to, to prove it, we don't have liveness or secrets as part of our values. That's just not something that's exposed as part of this hello world um, Helm chart that we're demonstrating against. And then lastly, if we go back up to the, the root of this example, we've got an application. This is a standard Argo CD application file. The only difference is line 15, where we um, say that we would like to use the Argo CD lovely plugin against, against this application. So let's deploy this application into our test cluster. And we'll just wait 
over here to the other boy. That was nice and quick. So we should be able to get the secret, which exists. And we should be able to check the failure threshold is five, as we requested earlier. So hopefully you can now see how easy it is to both add in separate manifests alongside a Helm chart or customize the output of the Helm chart. In this example, I've obviously demonstrated it in a slightly contrived way. Uh, in the real world, it would make sense to have your secret as part of your customization if you were already using customizations. Um, but I wanted to show you that both approach was possible so you could choose what was best for your particular needs. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you wish to know more, please visit our repo on GitHub.